Man, what a freaking dynamite, bro. AEW Big Business was one to watch opening the show with the debut and the new CEO of AEW, Mercedes Monet, a.k.a. Sasha Banks, has made her AEW debut, bro. I can't wait to see what she does. She also came out in the main event of Riho versus Willow, which was a great main event, honestly. Like, I wasn't expecting much from the match, but they came out there and delivered. Riho got the win after that. Sky Blue and Julia Hart came out and attacked her. Then Mercedes Monet came out for the save on Willow. Willow beating her in New Japan for the women's title. You know what I'm saying? Maybe this finna set up a tag team program between the four and then branch off to Mercedes versus Willow. But they didn't attack each other. Willow let her have her moment in front of her home crowd. Everybody chanting CEO to end the show, bro. But, hey. I can't wait to see what Mercedes does. I think this is great for AEW. AEW is heating up at the right time, too. It's around WrestleMania season, so WWE is literally peaking. Like, this is peak year. This is the peak part of WWE right now, WrestleMania season. So, they're heating up around the right time. Got people watching. Hook and Jericho beat um, Swerve Scrickland. Was it Gates and Agni? I think they name is. They beat Swerve Scrickland's tag team in a decent match. Jericho and Hook going at it next week. On Dynamite, which should be a banger. Jay White went against Darby Allen. This man, Darby Allen, is not trying to see 32. The man is 31 years old, and he may not see 32 at this way. I don't know how he is having a match two, three weeks later after he just literally killed himself diving through glass and Sting's retirement match, but he did, and he went against Jay White in a banger of a match. This man hit a coffin drop onto the apron that cost him Jay White. Blade Runner, one, two, three, gets the win. Jay White and Darby, Darby thought Jay White was going to show him some respect, but Jay White put that gun <laughs> to his head, looked like some out of anime. He was going to attack him, but then Billy Gunn and the acclaim came out because the Bang Bang Scissor game been a theme for the past couple weeks, bro. And they it looked like they convinced Jay White and the guns not to attack him, but then Jay White strikes Billy Gunn with a chair shot, and his son is just standing there watching it happen. The acclaim tried to come in with the save, but they got beat down to the Bang Bang Gang turn on the acclaim and Billy Gunn. And it looks like that's going to set up a great six person tag match, which should be fire. Um, Darby, give your body a rest, please. Like, <laughs> This man goal, this man goal is to not be walking by 40, bro. Like, I, I don't know. Why? I, I don't know how he keeps doing this. I don't even know how he's walking. How is he having a match literally two weeks after diving body first through glass, having glass inside of you and probably taken out by somebody, bro? Like, I don't know how this man Darby does it. He has all my respect in the world for all the crazy spots that he do, but this match was a banger. Can't wait to see where they go from here. Hopefully, Darby get a little push going because I, I just don't want to see him start losing and losing now. That Sting, him and Sting are no longer a tag team, and Sting has entered retirement. So hopefully, Darby can get a push and maybe win an AEW World Heavyweight Championship one day. Will Ospreay cut a decent promo on Brian Dennis and hyping up they match at AEW Dynasty. That, that match may be a match of the year contender. Probably is going to be match of the year if we're being honest. Six-man tag match: The Bucks and Okada went against Eddie Kingston, Penta, and Pack. Bucks and Okada win and a banger of a match. This is setting up Okada versus Eddie next week for the international championship. That match should be fire, bro. I'm loving the Bucks and Okada tag team. Them seemingly firing Kenny Omega and replacing him with Okada has been great to see. Hill Bucks are amazing, and it, it's, it's just like they get better and better. Even though they lost to Sting and Darby, they still are on a whole nother level. Then, what surprised me, the show opened up with Samoa Joe versus Warlow for the AEW Championship. I thought this match was going to main event, but it didn't. Samoa Joe retained in a decent match. Out came Swerve. It was like him versus Swerve at Dynasty. It was going to be the move after he won. And Swerve was coming out to attack Joe after what he did to him last week. Joe hauled ass and ran all the way to the back. I can't wait for their match again to see each other. It should be fire. But all in all, this Dynamite was amazing. I give it a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you think of AEW Big Business down below in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for much more.